Death is back to finish them off, and the third and final installment, or so I thought, released in 2006 when the director of the first film continues the sequel, James Wong. This installment was the highest grossing film of the trilogy at the time. It stars Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Ryan Merriman. A premonition saves and starts a chain reaction of deaths and has some uh, personal favorites, including a nail gun. The performances are delivered well along with humor and suspense, wondering what direction the death will appear, and who will get the last laugh. The clues of how each of them will die is taken in photos, giving us a chance to play along while watching. The third isn't near as good as the first two, but it's definitely not the worst. Tony Todd from the sequels is the voice of the daily roller coaster Devil's Flight. Evil can be anywhere, and death is only five tickets away. <laughs> The decision to kill them all off at the end was bold, but I thought it was the white choice. But killing off their main characters, Final Destination films were never new to it. Alex's death written them off in part 2, and also losing Claire by the end. The third was still entertaining and had a lot of surprises. The first sequel is usually the exception, if not even necessary, which most of them aren't, but I think the third ends on a pretty high note, and the deaths like the first are still creative, it doesn't feel like they're running out of ideas. And the thought of a roller coaster falling apart is really terrifying because that could really happen and has. Just like the rest of these scenarios, it could actually be someone's fate. You could end up being one of them rare cases of a freak accident. But just because this concludes the trilogy, don't get too comfortable. It's only the beginning of the end. <laughs>